Hey guys, this is Jamie Little to Little Poet Spice and I am here because I got some other stuff in today and I got some happy mail from Rosa who is Sun and Moon Arts here on YouTube and she did a um a DT project for Nola's Attic and it was a steampunk book. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. That's so cool. Because you know, I do love my steampunk. So, <laughs> she said she would send it to me. And guess what? It came today. I was so, unex I wasn't expecting it because she said it'll be a while. So, I wasn't expecting it to be like today. <laughs> so, it came. Let me show you. First, I want to show you the back. So, she was showing it. And I didn't realize it was as big as it is. Because, you know, when you see things on YouTube, unless there's, you know, something next to it that you can tell the size, it it's a size you don't really know so she was showing this and all the stuff that she did to it so she added this lace and I love her mixed media stuff um, especially how she uses fabrics and mixes everything together it's like I want to be like her when I grow up <laughs> although I don't ever plan to grow up so hmm <laughs> I don't know how that works. So anyway, she used a bunch of stuff from her DT project. And so she's got lace on here and it's been put on here. And she's got all these details and so forth. And she painted on the lace and inked it up. And so it's just like fabulous. And then she's got a signature in here. But you guys look, wait till you see the cover. If you did not see her video. Look at that! That is the shizzle finizzle. So she's got this feather and all these beads on here. She's got some corners and everything. So look at that. <laughs> and then look at the center. Look at all the dimension she has on there. I'm like, first of all, how did you get all this stuff to stay on here, girly girl? What, did you use Mod Podge? Did you, what did you use to keep all this stuff on here? So she's got bobbins and they're all inked up and everything and layered pieces and oh it's so fabulous it looks awesome and then she's got some more little pearl like things with the buckles and all this stuff so is that not gorgeous it's like oh my gosh and then she left a signature of paper in here so it's like thick paper too so you could draw on this <coughs> excuse me so you could draw on this pretty much you could do it anywhere you want because you know it's paper what are you gonna do hurt it no <laughs> so <laughs> You could do whatever and then look at the inside cover so she's got some embossing here uh looks like ripped napkins or book pages or a combination thereof so look at that that's so awesome and then she did the same to the front the only thing is i don't think she signed it she didn't sign it rosa you have to sign your pieces so she needs a little stamp or something that says Sun and Moon Arts or whatever she wants to stand with that. So sign your stuff from now on, dearie, because I'm be like, uh. now I always remember who sent it to me because it's like fabulous, but still. Isn't that awesome? So thank you, sweetie, because I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Ba -ba -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. <laughs> I just like said, I was sitting there in the room like, ooh, let's just rub it. Let's just rub it. <laughs> All right, so let's get into what came today. So let's go ahead and continue with the goodies. So I also got in this card, and this is from Shonda. This is Slim Cards. Now, she hasn't put out very many videos in the last while, so, um, but she has some fabulous videos up on her channel, and we hope to see you back real soon, Shonda. So this is a card that she sent me, and she said this is one of her hand-drawn images. So you could see her little signature right there. And then she just put a little note on the inside, and I thought this was cute. A little pumpkin. <laughs> and a kitty. So that came from Shonda, so there you can see it. Da -da 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 -da. So cute, isn't it? <laughs> so thank you, girl to girl. Okay, so then let's get on with the rest of the show. So I got in some tonic, and these I actually ordered off of the tonic website because it was a fabulous set of stuff. So first it came, this always died came and I always like word dies and so forth so I was happy to get this one and I can add it to my tonic collection 
Then they have this one, which is Winter Wonderland. And I considered buying this one before, and I was just like, me. So they had it, and I bought it. Um, and it has two pieces. So it's one of those over-the-edge cards, sort of like Crafter's Companion um, edgeable dies, except theirs are constructed a little bit differently. And I haven't used theirs, so I need to see how it goes. Does that make sense? Hmm. So theirs contains two dies. So we shall see how that goes. Then I had considered buying these too, and I might actually have these, I can't remember, but you can never have too many like scrolly, foliage, foliage, you know. So it's called the Cutesy Spray. And I got this, and it's pretty good size. And like I said, you can never have too many of these because anytime you wanna use fillers on your card or something, you know, run a ton of these through and you have plenty. Um, another thing that was in that set was this over the edge die. So you've got three different designs. And like I said, so here you can see it better. So this is what the design looks like for each set. And then theirs are put into two pieces. So what I'm guessing is that you can cut this piece into the card and just leave it that way. And then you add this piece on when you want to cut the actual edge is what I'm thinking. So that's kind of cute. And I can see how they keep repeating their designs and so forth, because there's like a daisy thing uh, with that one too. So, oh, you know I love tonic, tonic, tonic. This is another one of those where I had considered purchasing it, but I was like, mm. I didn't know how much I'd use it for, you know, to buy it at launch price. So it was good that I got it in this set because I'm like, yes reasonably priced and it was it's really cute because you have this geometric design you have two dies so you have where you can cut it into your card then you have the added frame so you can cut it out or you could put a layer behind and then on top so I love their verso dies for that but it's so cute because you have your little flowers and then depending on where you paper piece it or color it it looks different it looks like a different design so that's always cool <laughs> All right, the next thing is my Spellbinders uh, Value Kit of the Month. Hmm, excuse me, I bit my tongue a little bit. So it always has the small die set, and which is so, this is what cracks me up about their die set. This is the small die set. That's a bit, that's a lot of dies for a small set, in it? Love that. So it's this, it's this lady and she can hold a tree in a pot. She can hold a pie or she can hold a gift. And then the words say, see you soon. So this is what it looks like. Let me see that. All right. And then you can see the tree, the gift, and the pie. So that's really cute. Love that. And then they have the big die set, which I always love the fact that there are a lot of pieces in it or large pieces in it. So you can see, set's as big as my hand. And then I love this pumpkin. I love how they did design on this pumpkin. Mm -hmm. And you have all these pieces, flower pieces, so you could build wreaths and so forth. You have like a plaque set here, your pumpkin. And then here they give you this piece, which is hooked together, which I like, so you don't lose these little pieces, so that you could do flowers and berries to go back over the ones that are in the other pieces. So that's cool. So you get this piece right here. All right, then the next thing I got from Create and Craft, and it can, you could get these separately, but it came as the set. It's always on Create and, Create and Craft, it's always cheaper to buy the collection at launch time um, if you want the whole thing right then and there. Now, sometimes they'll go on sale later on, but you're never guaranteed that they'll have all the pieces, so it's always fabulous. So this one is a shadow box. They put it in millimeters, so I don't know what that is in inches. I could look it up, but I don't feel like it. <laughs> so you get you get the outside part of the box, you get the inside part of the box, and then you get these layering dies, so you can do pyramage or invertage. I think is what they called it, invertage, which is pretty cool. So you can see how big it is, um, and your pieces here, and then your inside piece with your ovals. So. That's cool. Then it came with a Christmas set. So you have your scene here. 
down here. Village of Mountains and Forest. And they also give you this like snow background with a let it snow and a little, little Santa Claus. But he only has three reindeer, so that's kind of weird. <laughs> So on the back, you can see what the dies look like. So you can cut this part out, and then this part will stay in your card. Um, same thing with this one, but you can see the little deer, the mountains. And the cool thing about this is, if you wanted to extend it, you could, and you would just move it, and then there'd just be like a little piece to cut. So you can actually make it much wider than what it actually is. So you got the light snow and then you can see how the snow dots work. So you got that one. And I was on the fence about whether I was gonna get it, but they said they were gonna come out with more panels. So I'm like, if they're gonna come out with more panels, that'd be super cool. The other thing about this is you could also use like Crafter's Companion, their dies that don't cut on the bottom. Um, they're wider, but you could just, you know, cut that to make it fit. So that's cool. Then they had this kind of, what, is, what did they call us? The woodland scenes. So you've got this piece that's grass. You could have this over top or you could turn it the other way too. You've got your birch trees. And this is why I almost didn't buy this set because I have the tonic one that has the birch trees and a bunch of stuff in it as well. But these are so cute. And then they have this kind of little viney scene going on. So then you can see what it looks like here in the white. And then they also put, so this is what the die looks like. So you just go and put these into the other scene and you cut them out. And this one's actually giving you a border. You've got this little circle piece here that says wild about you. And I believe this is like a sun. Yeah, your sun. And then you got moon and stars. So that's so cool. Love this. I can't wait to play with it. And of course I have to wait because, you know, school has started and is in full swing, so. Uh, I'm not as tired when I come home, but my butt still drags. So then I got some stuff from Doodle, uh, Doodle Bug Wah. So here's their card. Okay. And there's their website. They ship really quickly, which you guys know I love because I hate waiting. I am so impatient. It's like, I gave you my money, I want it now. <laughs> so I'm so happy that their store ships really fast. Now, if you might have seen my stuff the last few months, or even in general, you notice that I have a pension for tiny things and jumbo things. So here's another one of the itty bitty tinies. It's these Santas. As soon as I saw it, I was like, I must have these Santas. Like I had to have the monkeys and I had to have, <laughs> I had to have something else that was tiny and all that lawn font stuff that was tiny. But you get one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four, yeah. 16 little Santas. And then you get more little, you get some more presents, three sentiments and your little bag and bell. But it's so funny. So he cracks me up. He looks like he's dancing, eating his milk and cookies. He's like, woo, give me a hug. Mm, you've been a naughty, naughty girl. You get no presents. <laughs> Look at them. The little boy bo bear and the little girl bunny smooches. <laughs> right, here he goes. With his little candy canes. And then, shh. Ho, 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 and a belly full of jelly. <laughs> and his little sleigh. So cute. And so, you know, of course, I had to buy the die because I'm not cutting them little teeny tiny things out. Excellent. All right, then I purchased some other stuff. I got these. It's actually, I bought the same die three times, actually. So, it's these um, measuring spoons. So, I got two of those. Cause I didn't want to have to keep cutting them out. I got these bowls, which are pretty cool. I meant to put them on my, what you call it. So you get the bowl in two sizes 
And you can do, I want to say, can you do a shaker or is it a layering die? Yeah. So that was cool. Got those. And then these measuring cups. I hope you can see because the weird, the lighting is weird in here. Then I got this mixer. So I got this size mixer, which is a big one. Ah, look at all the layers. What? 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 Love it. Then I got a little one too. So same thing, just a different size. So I got those two. I got this one, which does a uh, cut in part. I got this. Now, I showed you these in a previous video. So I had to put these together because they were just too cute, right? So I went and I got the minis. <laughs> look at the mini. So it's exactly the same design, just smaller, but look, at that'd be so cool. All right, the next thing is I went to my local scrapbook store and they always have 20% off. Like it's just automatic 20% off. So I got this Tim Holtz gingerbread. What do they call it? They don't call it gingerbread. They call it, I can't tell. Fresh baked number two. So it was so cute. I love that. So I got that. I don't know what is my obsession with gingerbread this year, but there you go. So all the gingies. And then I saw this. I don't even remember where I saw it. And then I couldn't, I was trying to order it, find it. I couldn't find it anywhere. And I went to the local scrapbook store and I wasn't even looking for it. I was looking for something else. And I happened to see that they had this. It is the Monster Reunion by Tim Holtz for Sam Pendas. Oh, look at that. I, was, I just saw the images because she was too funny. I loved her. And then this little vampire dude. And so when I looked at it, I didn't even realize that it had sentiments at the bottom. <laughs> Some would say candy. Foolish mortals. <laughs> Let's get smashed. This one is my favorite. Creeping it real, bro. Creeping it real. <laughs> I don't bite usually. Shh. So fun. So I saw that and it was absolutely like, yes, yes, yes. In my cart it goes. So that's what came in over the last couple days. Um, I also saw the new oh my gosh some of the new happy planners are so fabulous for 2020 so i just put in an order for michael's to have mine delivered and yeah that's about it so pretty soon i'll be doing a d stash again so be on the lookout for that especially if you're interested in christmas items because i have several of those that i would like to boop, 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 send away from here all right, thanks for watching. I shall see you guys later. Bye. Go check out Sun and Moon Arts channel and also go check out Slim Cards channel, even though she hasn't put up any new videos for a while. And then also go check out my writing channel and I shall see you later. Bye.